I get asked very frequently, how can I remove the vocals from a recording? The short answer is you can't really, but the long answer is you sort of can sometimes. So the first thing to be aware of is how stereo works. Stereo has a left side speaker and a right side speaker, or two earphones that go over your ears. In mixing, the mixing engineer can pan a signal to the left, to the right, to the center, or at various points in between. Signals that are panned to the left appear only in the left ear. Signals that are panned to the right appear only in the right ear. And signals panned to the center appear equally in both. This is critical to how the trick we're going to do works. But first, you should be aware that it doesn't work very well. Here's the original recording, fully mixed and mastered. So we want to get rid of the vocal of this. Here's how the trick works. We'll go into explanation of how it works in a minute. I'm going to split the two tracks apart. And at this point, we're going to invert the polarity of one of these. And then with them together, we end up canceling out anything that was identical on both channels, anything in the center. Unfortunately, this is not a vocal canceller. This is a center canceller. So other things that get canceled out, depending on how the song is mixed, tend to be the kick and snare drum, any sort of lead instrument, and anything else that appears exactly in the center of the mix. But it can work sometimes. So now we have this example again. We have three waves. We've got a medium frequency wave, a high frequency wave, and a very low frequency wave. This low frequency wave is panned to the center. This extra high frequency wave is panned to the right, and the medium is panned to the left. Now, what the speakers or headphones will end up playing is this. The left side speaker will play this wave, which contains the very low frequency wave and the medium wave. As you can see, they're, they're merged together. That's what the left side speaker will play. The right side speaker will play this, which is a mix of the very low frequency wave and the extremely high one. Here's how the center removal trick works. We split this track to two mono tracks. And now if at this point we were to mix these two together, we'd come up with a single track that has all three waves in it. You can see the extremely low one here, you can see the medium one in the way that it's kind of moving up and down like this. And you can see the extremely high one in the way that it's zigzagging all over the place on a very small level. But that's not what we want to do this trick. Instead, we're going to invert the polarity, or invert the phase is what some people call it, even though it's really polarity, of this one. Either one really will work. And notice what happens here. The low frequency wave, you can clearly see, is out of phase with the copy of the same wave on this channel. So in other words, because this low frequency wave was mixed equally into both sides, and it's an identical copy on each side, when we invert this one and mix them together, they cancel out completely. And here's the combined wave with just the medium and extremely high frequency waves. <laughs> 